Hey, what's up creators? I'm super excited to introduce my brand new macro from DaVinci Resolve. Whether you're going for those nostalgic cinematic VHS vibes or those futuristic hologram effects, my new macro's got you covered. Let's dive into how this macro will take your videos to the next level. All right, so if you pick up Easy Retro, you're gonna get a DRFX file. It's gonna show up right under your toolbox. Uh, click it and drag it right on whatever you're affecting, whether that's a PNG, footage, you can size up whatever you're using the effect on right here under XF. You can even move it around like I did in the intro. You can even open it in Fusion, select Easy Effects, open your spline, find what you want to smooth, and simply select it and pick your easing, or do a custom ease. Let's go back to the edit page, because we can do everything but smoothing keyframes on the edit page. We got our effect here, you have scan lines, you can randomize the frequency of the hum that the scan lines do as the clip plays. We also have the lens to sort and it'll give you that fish eye look. And you can do some really interesting things here. You can make it bow out, you can make it bow in, and it really gives that old tube TV effect. We can separate it back into RGB. They have different distortions, so uncheck fine. And you can get these halos here, make it look like an old glass TV. We also have a built-in load bar that will slowly fill the screen as the clip ends. You can adjust how fast it feels with the load bar settings here. The higher the number, the faster that animation will end. You can also change the percent that it fills the screen. You want to leave load bar on at least four. You also have a transform for the load bar animation. After that, you can change the color of your load bar. All right, after that, we have film damage. You can change how it affects your screen, linear burn, color dodge. If you ever mess with a merge node, you might be familiar with some of these. You can also change how fast and how strong and how large they are with detail, contrast, seize, brightness, and seize rate. So I have distort blocks, which are these little blocks here that show up randomly across the screen. Then we have color blocks one and two. There are these blocks which will appear on the screen. Finally, we have effects page. We have the DVE node, and this is the faux 3D. You can set up these 3D movements. They work really great if you're trying to make a hologram. Looks really cool when you play with the lens absorption also, as we see here. Of course, you can keyframe and smooth them out in Fusion. And this is how I did the hologram effect in the beginning. If you don't think these colors really line up with a hologram, you can hit screen color down here and adjust the tint. Maybe a purple, give it a blue purple. And then finally, we have our glows. You can adjust the gain, the threshold, the size. If you really want that hologram effect, you can turn down the opacity so you can see other footage underneath it. And then we also have blur. All right, let's grab some footage. All right, I got some footage from earlier on the timeline. We'll just grab our effect, throw it on here. We'll size it back up. We'll come on, we'll throw scan lines on, lens to sort. Don't need the load bar in this one. Film damage, let's just throw everything on. Then we'll go to effects. I have a little bit of a blur here. Look low just a tiny bit. Let's see how this looks. You get this crazy analog damage CRT effect all in just a few clicks of a button off from the edit page if you want to. And that's really it. It's a really simple macro, but you can have some really cool, awesome effect. So whether you're looking to relive that nostalgic VHS vibe or create a futuristic hologram effect, Easy Retro got you covered. Easy Retro makes it super easy. No need for complicated setup. Drop it in and tweak it to your liking. If you're ready to level up your visuals with Easy Retro, hit the link in the description down below. Take you straight to my Ko-Fi page where you can also find Easy Effect. And if you're not ready to buy this macro, there's also a light version available now. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you want to see next.